So here's the plan. I'm out here for science going to sacrifice my body. I'm going to collect some poison ivy and I'm going to dab it on my arm at various locations, each of which I will wash off at sequentially longer and longer times to see how long do you actually have after touching poison ivy to wash it off. After putting on a glove, I picked a bunch of poison ivy and put them on a tray and brought them inside. I basically had a spot on my arm for each time point. I rubbed the poison ivy on every spot at the same time, but then washed each spot off at a different time. The first spot I washed after leaving the poison ivy there for only 15 minutes, the next 30 minutes, then one hour, two hours, four hours, six hours, and the last I left on for 10 hours before washing it off. To wash it off, I use warm water and a lot of dish soap. I've watched another video, which I'll link below, that basically says this stuff is like grease. It's an invisible grease, and dish soap works fine as long as you use a lot of friction to rub it off. Friction using a rag is the most important part. I would scrub it off once with a soapy rag, then I'd get a new location on the same rag, scrub it again with soapy water, and then finally I'd get a clean dry rag and wipe off the area that I just cleaned. Maybe it's only placebo, but I'm about to wash off the two hour time point and I'm feeling like all the remaining spots are kind of burning. All right, it's been 24 hours and I just woke up and I actually woke up in the middle of the night because my arm was so itchy. There's no rash yet. I can see very faintly a little bit of red. It looks like at the four, six and 10 hour marks, uh, but it's really itchy. <laughs> So it's been three and a half days and here's the results. I definitely have blisters at 10 hours. Interestingly, I don't really see any blisters at six hours. Four hours is by far the worst. I've got blisters, they're like oozing and it's incredibly itchy and burns. There's a little bit of redness at two hours. So I later determined that this is just a scratch. I don't think there's any poison ivy here at the two hour time point. Definitely some uh, one or two spots at one hour, nothing at 30 minutes, and one spot at 15 minutes. So what did I learn from this? Well, the experiment didn't go perfectly, but one thing I know for a fact, do not wait four hours or longer to wash off your poison ivy. Four hours is the worst blister I've ever seen. It's very strange that the six hour time point never showed up. I think this points out that maybe different parts of the leaf and different ages of leaves, dark green big ones or young light green ones might have more or less oil. Also, I wasn't very careful when applying the poison ivy. Some of the leaves I kind of crushed up and others I just wiped. I'm imagining that the ones that I crushed up got more oil on my skin. The fact that the two hour time point was clear and the earlier time points were mostly clear seems to indicate that you have at least two hours to wash off poison ivy. But the fact that even with my rigorous washing methodology still allowed small blisters to form at the 15 minute and one hour time points shows how hard it is. And maybe you really do wanna use some of those special soaps designed for removal of poison ivy. If even warm water, dish soap, and the rigorous rubbing with my rags wasn't enough. And finally, this is my other arm. I was so delighted to see a big patch of poison ivy on the arm I did not even intentionally put any on. So somewhere in my experimental method, I was a little bit sloppy and got some of the oil on my other arm inadvertently, either from the glove or the rag or something. This just goes to show how insidious poison ivy can be.